If you have a child between the ages of 6 and 11, you can save a lot of money on public transportation in Japan by purchasing a child Suica card. The amount of the discount varies depending on the transportation operator, but it is commonly about 50%. What is a child Suica card? A child Suica card is a type of electronic smart card used for transportation within Japan specifically designed for children between the ages of 6 and 11 years old. Suica cards are part of the IC card system, which stands for Integrated Circuit Card, and they are widely accepted across various transportations throughout Japan, including trains, subways, and buses. The Child Suica card works just like a regular Suica card, but it offers discounted fares for children. So with the Child Suica card, children can enjoy discounted fares on trains, subways, and buses throughout Japan. Like a regular Suica card, the Child Suica card provides a contactless payment system. It eliminates the need to purchase individual tickets for each journey. All they have to do is simply touch their card to the card reader on the gates or even on buses. The cards can be recharged with additional funds when the balance runs low. You can do this at ticketing machines, Suica charging stations, some 7-Elevens, and even online. And the Child Suica card is widely accepted, so not just in Tokyo, but you can use it throughout Japan. For instance, our son, he used it all over the place, including Nagoya, Kanazawa, Kyoto, Osaka, Hokkaido, everywhere. Another added benefit, the cards can be used at vending machines, coin lockers, and other places that accept the cards, such as some restaurants. But don't accept a discount outside of the transportation system. Where can I get a Child Suica card? Unlike the regular Suica card, the Child Suica card has not been affected by the global semiconductor shortage and can still be purchased. Visit the JR ticketing office of any major train station such as Tokyo, Shibuya, Ueno Station, and even at Haneda Airport. What are the requirements? Again, your child must be between the ages of 6 and 11. This means once your child turns 12, they are no longer eligible and must get a regular Suica card and pay normal fares. When you visit the ticketing office, you will be required to show your child's passport to verify their age and fill out a short form including their name and date of birth. Once you get your child's card, it will have your child's name on it as well as a little kanji symbol for child. How much does it cost? It costs the same as a regular Suica card, so there will be a 500 yen deposit and you will be required to put a minimum of 1,000 yen when you purchase it. You can get the 500 yen deposit back if you choose to return your card later on, but the card must be in decent condition. This card is not transferable and when your child actually uses it when they go through the gate, a red light will flash and sometimes it will also beep. That lets the attendants know that, hey, a child is actually using the card. Are there other options other than the Suica child card? Yes, there are. For instance, in the Tokyo area, there is a child Pasmo card which you can get, and in Osaka, you can get the child Ikoka card. And these cards will work just the same and are widely accepted throughout Japan. How much can I expect to save? Let me show you the expenses comparing my IC card compared to my son's child Suica card. I'm using a free app called Card Reader for this. You tap your card on your phone and it will pull the data from your card, including the date of the transportation, the type of transport, where you went, though that part's in Japanese, and of course the cost of the fare. Now comparing these two, you can see that mine is about double of my son's card. The overall child fare was 1155 yen and mine was 2341 yen. That's a savings of 1186 yen, which is more than 50%. And we hardly even went anywhere. So you can imagine if you're gonna travel a lot, you can save a lot. What if my child is younger than six years old? If that is the case, they can travel for free. However, there is a limit of two young children per adult. Now, here are some tips from Kaisho. Having your IC card loose like this isn't very safe. And if you're carrying it in, around in a lanyard, it's safer, but not the safest. So usually your best bet is just to put it in your pockets while it's in the lanyard. And don't do like these. <laughs> because you can lose it that way. Now you only take it out once you're going to tap it. <laughs> I hope you found this helpful. It is definitely worth the trip to the JR ticketing office to get a Child Suica card. Let us know in the comments below if you have any further questions or if I missed anything about the Child Suica card. We are Digital Nomads traveling long term. We have a ton of content about traveling in Japan and throughout Asia with a lot more to come. So make sure you subscribe. Next, you might be interested in watching our video about locking in your prices for the JR Pass before the prices go up in October 2023 or our latest tips on visiting Universal Studios Japan. Thanks for watching.